I'm going to show you a statistic that will definitely blow your mind. Imagine these are all the individuals in India who have some life insurance policy. Chances are that every 3 out of 4 of these policy holders will have a policy given by a single massive company, LIC. The life insurance corporation is huge. So much that if all the LIC customers form a country, then this country will be the fourth largest in the world with a giant population of over 29 crores. And this massive company is now getting ready for what will likely be the biggest IPO in India. So just like we had explored the size of Reliance in one of our previous videos, in this one we will answer. LIC started with a capital of only 5 crores in 1956, but today it controls assets of over 37 lakh crores. That is a huge amount. It's bigger than the GDP of more than 75% of the countries in the world. It's more than 5 times the net worth of the royal UK family and it's equal to the size of India's massive mutual fund industry. In fact, even the number of agents working with LIC is massive. They are more than the population of many Asian countries like Bhutan, Bahrain, Maldives, Macau, Cyprus, Brunei and Timor. Let's pause for a minute and look at all the other life insurance companies that India has. Out of these, the biggest is HDFC Life. It has a market share of 8%. That's actually pretty big. But even this is nothing when compared to LIC that has a market share of a whopping 64%, more than 8 times that of its closest competitor. In fact, even if we put all the other life insurance companies together, LIC is still much much bigger. It is present in 91% of Indian districts whereas the private sector insurers together cover only 81%. LIC has 113 divisional offices, 2048 branch offices, 1526 satellite offices and 1178 mini offices. Imagine just the amount of land it owns is a lot. Not many know this but LIC has made its mark outside India as well. If you travel to Kenya, you will find the Ken India Assurance Company. It's the largest non-life insurer in Kenya and is partly owned by none other than LIC. Moving on to the islands of Mauritius. LIC has been operating here for the past 6 decades and it was also the first life insurer in the secluded Mauritian island of Rodrigues. LIC also has its branches in Fiji and the UK. LIC International is one of the biggest life insurance providers in Bahrain and is also popular in the nearby Kuwait, UAE, Qatar and Oman. Not just that, LIC also jointly operates insurance companies in Saudi Arabia, Nepal, Sri Lanka, Singapore and Bangladesh. This worldwide presence of LIC is so big that it has become the 10th most valuable insurance brand in the world. After this world tour, let us now return back to India. Here, in addition to the life insurance business, LIC also owns one of India's largest housing finance company, a mutual fund and a pension fund. But the real game changer is the fact that LIC is India's largest institutional investor. Just take a look around and you can find LIC in everything. Let's start with the massive buildings around us. LIC is the largest shareholder in India's biggest construction company LNT. It even has a stake in Ultratech Cement that is India's biggest cement company. LIC has its control over the road as well. It has more than 10% share in Hero Moto Corp that is the world's biggest manufacturer of two wheelers. More than 5% shares in Maruti Suzuki that is India's leading passenger car manufacturer and more than 8% shares in Mahindra and Mahindra that is the world's highest tractor seller. LIC even has a stake in the oil used to run these vehicles as it is a shareholder in India's largest commercial oil company Indian Oil. Now let's look at banks. LIC holds over 49% stake in IDBI Bank and over 8% stake in popular banks like Axis, Canara and even in the country's biggest bank SBI. How can we talk about LIC's investments without mentioning the giant ITC? ITC owns more than 100 luxury hotels in India and is Asia's largest cigarette manufacturer. Owns famous brands like Fiamma, Vivelle and Savlon and is one of India's biggest seller of branded foods. The second biggest shareholder of this massive ITC group is none other than LIC. Things don't stop here. LIC is also widely present in the technology sector. 
It owns around 4% shares in India's biggest IT company, TCS, and around 6% shares in Reliance Industries, that is the owner of the world's third largest network. LIC also owns substantial minority stakes in many other giant Indian companies, like in Bata, that is India's biggest footwear retailer and manufacturer, in Adani, that is India's largest private multi-port operator, and in the NSE, yep, National Stock Exchange itself. All of these investments are just a small part of the total investments that LIC makes every year. In fact, in just the last year, LIC invested more than 30 lakh crores. This amount is so massive that in order to match it, an average Indian will have to save all their income for more than 7 crore years. That's how unbelievably huge LIC's investments are. The thrill and excitement around LIC has recently increased because of its upcoming IPO. Even though we do not know yet when this IPO will be released, what we do know is that the government is seeking a valuation of 8 to 10 lakh crore rupees for LIC. And if it does get valued at more than 9 lakh crore rupees, it will overtake Reliance that is currently India's most valued company. The value of LIC is so massive that even if the government decides to sell just 5% of its stake in the IPO, then LIC would become India's biggest ever IPO. This single IPO will have the potential to raise 1 lakh crore rupees, an amount that is more than 5 times higher than what was raised through the largest IPO till date in the country. All of this tells us that LIC is just huge. And in 66 years of its existence, it has truly managed to gain a gigantic presence over our economy and life. Did you know about these LIC ventures? What do you think about these? Tell us in the comments and also let us know which other big companies we should cover. And yes, do show us some love by liking and sharing this video.